Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on Sturge Weber syndrome. It is a neurological disorder characterized by a distinctive port wine stain on the forehead, scalp, or around the eye. This stain is a birthmark caused by an overabundance of capillaries near the surface of the skin. And Sturge Weber syndrome is caused by a random mutation in the GNAQ gene. For clinical features, a very characteristic finding is the port wine stain, where there is reddish, discoloured skin on one side of the face. Other features include developmental delay, cognitive impairment, seizures, hemiparesis, paralysis, and also glaucoma. Seizures 75% of the patients with unilateral involvement will develop seizures by one year old, and 95% if bilateral involvement. Seizures is due to an increased metabolic demand of the developing brain in babies in the setting of vascular compromise, so causing seizures. Whereas glaucoma is an eye disease caused by increased pressure in the eye, and this can cause vision impaired, sensitivity to light, and also eye pain. The investigations that can be done to diagnose Dutch Weber syndrome to rule out other differential diagnoses are CT scan. And MRI and EEG can also help to establish early diagnosis and to start treatment in patients at risk for this Sturge Weber syndrome. Eye tests can be done to look for glaucoma and also check for other eye abnormalities. For treatment, one of the treatment is pulse eye pulse dye laser. And other treatment includes anticonvulsant, which can reduce seizure activities eye drops to decrease the eye pressure in glaucoma, surgery to relieve glaucoma symptoms, facial therapy which can strengthen weak muscles, and educational therapies to help the children with developmental delay. The pulse dye laser is to reduce the appearance of the port wine stain. However, these treatments may not completely remove the birthmark. That's all for this video. Thank you.